They are icons of the North Woods. Loons captivate our imaginations and still our hearts. But they're literally shrinking. WCCO's Aaron Hassanza that tagged along with researchers to understand what's happening and what's at stake in this next weather investigation. It's become a holiday of sorts. So there they are. Loon nesting season here on Blue Lake in Manaqua, Wisconsin. It is a big deal around here. When the chicks hatch, you know, it's it's loon watch. And for 32 years, Professor Walter Piper has made the trek from his home in California for this front row seat. Let's see who this is. Piper tags and tracks loons like this one on a nesting raft with the help of lake residents and young research assistants from around the country, all hoping to uncover what's happening with these majestic icons of the north. They have two you know, sort of cute, fluffy chicks. We spot a pair of chicks paddling along with their dad, but having a sibling these days is less common. A two chick brood is almost getting to be a special thing now, uh, and that's a reflection of, of a pattern that's going on here in Wisconsin. <laughs> Loon chicks are shrinking in northern Wisconsin, both in numbers and size, something that's worsened since the early 2000s. At one month, a loon chick used to weigh about three and a half pounds. Now they're closer to three, and that worries lake residents like Brian and Teresa Coliani. It's really disturbing because it's just such a part of our habitat, such a part of what we like up here. To understand why chicks are shrinking, you first have to understand this. Watch as the father loon peers below the surface just before he grabs a mighty meal. Loons need to see to hunt, and to hunt, they need clear water. And that's where climate change becomes a problem. Our more frequent and intense downpours wash things like fertilizers and sediment into the water, making it murky and hard to hunt. Parents simply can't keep themselves alive and feed the, the chicks enough to keep those t chicks growing. The rain and heat also allow black flies to thrive, a pest that drives loons off their nests. That second chick, which would have made it 25, 30 years ago, that second chick can't make it anymore. Piper says they used satellite images from over the decades to confirm water quality was dropping. How serious is the population decline in Wisconsin? Well, it's very serious. Dr. Piper thought at some point, if this is happening in Wisconsin, could it be happening in Minnesota too? So in 2021, he expanded his research to include Minnesota in places like the Whitefish Chain of Lakes here in Cross Lake, Minnesota. Well, this is Rush Lake that we're on now. Yes, very popular for cabins and the loans, yes. Piper's early findings in the land of 10,000 lakes are even more troubling than in Wisconsin. Just 82% of Minnesota state birds return after wintering in the south. That's lower than Wisconsin's 88%, and it surprised Piper. It's another thing that's keeping me awake at night, I guess. But his decades of data show loons in northern Wisconsin are declining 6% a year. And if that continues... It means within 20 years we'll have virtually no loons here in, in northern Wisconsin. Others, like the National Audubon Society, say because of climate change, loons simply won't live here by the end of the century. Watch as the yellow summer territory disappears from our area by 2080. Despite all of that, we have this to enjoy in the here and now as loon parents try to shelter their little ones from tough realities and others rally behind this symbolic and captivating creature. Freedom. I hope they're always here. They're kind of magical. My hope is just to hold on to loons, to, 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 to keep loons around in Wisconsin and Minnesota. With photojournalists Mike Durenberger and Nick Ludeman, Aaron Hassanzada, Next Weather Investigates. If you'd like to help, Dr. Piper says that you can stop using lawn fertilizers. Also, planting or keeping native shorelines provides healthier habitat and clearer lakes. Building a nest raft can help, too. You can get involved as well. Community scientists, like some of those that you just met, help provide important information to protect the birds we love.